Using previous results, we find another important estimate on the Karnakara theodory distance in the Heisenberg group. I have summarized the most important results that we will be using in order to prove this. Given any p1 equal x1, y1, and t1, and p2 equal to x1, y1, the same, but a different t quantity, there does exist, so there exists a horizontal curve gamma, say without loss of generality from 0, 1 into R3, with gamma of 0 equal to P1, gamma of 1 equal to P2, and most importantly, the length of gamma finite. We will actually find a better bound on this length, but let's see where this comes from. I claim that it is enough to solve the following problem. Can we find a curve in the plane with these four properties? It is absolutely continuous. It's a loop that comes back to x1 and y1. That particular integral of x prime times y minus x times y prime ends up being equal to exactly t2 minus t1, the value determined by the points p1 and p2. And finally, in the plane, that curve has finite length. Before showing why such a curve exists, let me show how the proof ends with that. If you have this gamma bar, then define t of tau by the integral from 0 to tau of the same familiar quantity of x prime times y minus x times y prime. And the difference here is that we just add t1 to the end. Now what happens here is that t of 0 is t1 and t of 1 is equal because of the third condition above this will be t2 minus t1 plus t1 which is t1 okay um, then gamma of tau the horizontal lift given by x tau, y tau. These are the same coordinates as the ones in gamma bar. And then we add the third one, which we built right above. So then this guy becomes is horizontal. By previous theorem, if you take derivative, you will see that t prime is equal to this quantity almost everywhere just by properties of absolutely continuous functions and the fundamental theorem of calculus. Um, and then the last condition that it, so gamma of zero will be x1, y1, t1 by the assumptions on gamma bar and um, yeah, this condition that we just checked here gamma of 1 again gamma bar comes back to x1 and y1 and this time t value has increased to t2 of course this is a typo here so it does connect the point p1 to p2 and finally finally length of gamma the horizontal 
constructions that we had equals the length of projection of gamma. Again, previous theorem of previous page. And this is the length in R2 of gamma bar, which by our goal is to construct this such that this will be finite. So this will complete the proof and whatever bound, whatever value we will have for this will actually be an upper bound for the length. Why does such gamma bar exist? Well, it's very easy to construct curves that are absolutely continuous and return back to the same point, right? Any curve will do. Gamma bar. And uh, of course, if we don't go crazy, this will be happy, this will be happy, this will be happy. But how about this last condition? And this is where something interesting happens. Right hand side is equal to negative four times uh, one half this integral over gamma bar. But here we use this fact that by Green's theorem for many nice curves this will be the so negative 4 is there of signed area if you have this picture and if you reverse the orientation this will be the same integral here will uh, pick up a negative so it's the signed area if you go in the opposite direction counter uh, in the clockwise direction this will be negative of that much area so we i want to emphasize the following we are not going to use the full le full strength of Green's theorem at this point because I'm not trying to show that this holds for a big class of functions. I'm looking for one particular curve that this holds for and I'm going to obviously choose it to be a circle because that's the simplest way we can get this done and where this integral can be calculated um, without Green's theorem. So without any reference to Green's theorem, we can actually calculate that integral. The reason I mentioned Green's theorem is that we won't actually really calculate it. It's a bit of cheating. From calculus, we know that this integral along a circle ends up being the area. So we know that at least for circles, this holds. And that is all the information that I want. The claimed gamma bar can be chosen to be a circle so a curve is not a set so circle here would mean a parameterization of a circle with area so there was that four there so I, I will have it equal to t2 minus t1 divided by 4 but t2 minus t1 can be negative so I take absolute value so um, the area the po absolute value of the area no negative here should be equal to this positive value and then depending on t2 minus t1 is positive or negative we orient it appropriately so an oriented um, positively if t2 minus t1 is actually negative and negatively that is the clockwise if t2 minus t1 is positive So what this gives us is that we will have our point here, x1 and y1. First, I make a circle. The first condition that I want is that the area here 
should be t2 minus t1 divided by 4. This is the area. And that determines the radius of the circle uniquely. For orientation, if, if I want, if I have t2 bigger than t1, this condition, I actually should go backward. So if t2 is bigger than t1, then negative orientation. It's all because of the mismatch between um, the order here and here. So this is negative of that one. That's why there is the negative 4. So um, that's why orientation is backward. If, if you want to, if your horizontal lift, this is what, is what is happening. So this is gamma bar. The horizontal lift will look like So this is the shadow of the curve and it starts here, the horizontal lift at P1. Now if P2 is up here, that is T2 is bigger than T1, in order for my curve to um, gain a T quantity, it has to rotate this way. So gamma bar has to rotate this way if we are going to have gamma increased at t. If you went backward, actually, it will go down exact same amount. This is actually a rigidity thing in Heisenberg group uh, that you cannot freely reorient the shadow. If you if your shadow turns in one direction, the horizontal lift will either go up or down. And if you reverse that orientation in the shadow, it um, the, the curve you get is extremely different. It goes downward instead of ascending upward. And so this gamma prime satisfies all the four conditions that we want. And that's the end of the proof. So the four conditions was it's absolutely continuous. Of course, you can parameterize a circle by an absolutely continuous curve. Um, this definitely holds and the last one also is obvious because the length of the circle is the perimeter and that is um, bounded that ends the proof and I said that from we don't just get boundedness we get something more if you have a circle of area this much the perimeter will be comparable to the square root. So the length of the horizontal lift where gamma is the horizontal lift of the circle, the parameterization of circle satisfies well length of the gamma is equal to the length of in r2 of its projection gamma bar that is perimeter of a circle and perimeter of a circle is bounded up to a constant which we can be calculate uh, uh, indeed i'm gonna give you that constant the square root of pi um, times the square root t2 minus t1. So at least there is one horizontal curve with length this much. The corollary becomes that Carnot carothedry distance of x1, y1, and t1 from x1 t1 sorry x1 y1 t2 uh, this is by definition equal to infimum of all the length of horizontal curves between them and now we have found one square root of t2 minus t1 
and this is in sharp contrast to what happens in R3 now. This is saying that if you join 0, 0, and 0 to the point 0, 0, and t, then the distance uh, of the two will be less than a constant square root of absolute value of t, not t. For t values very small, this is infinitely larger compared to the Euclidean distance t. So in the Heisenberg group, the distance of this to that is infinitely longer compared to what we see visually in R3. And it will have amazing consequences for everything uh, subramanian on R3. So probably this is a good place to end and building upon this, we'll do a lot more.